Green synthesis of silicon nanoparticles using sugar cane degas. This is Marzi Hosseini and welcome to Nanotechnology Channel. Synthesis of silicon nanoparticles has been done by several approaches. For example, by Folger method, flame synthesis method, and microemulsion. However, uh, these methods show several disadvantages. Uh, for example, high operation cost, difficulties in controlling the particle size, morphology, and phase composition. Also, the requirement for additional step if surfactant is used in the synthesis procedure. But Grain synthesis of silicon nanoparticles using sugar cane bag gas has many advantages. Uh, the advantages of this method are uh, less toxic chemical consumption, reduction in chemical amounts, uh, economical and less involvement of high energy process such as calcination. Uh, the metallic impurity will be removed by pretreatment process in the extraction part. The absence of uh, metallic impurity will be lead to the high purity silicon nanoparticles production at the end of this process. Sugar cane is one of the plants in the grass family that consists high concentration of silica. Uh, in this process, sugar cane bagasse is chosen as natural source of silicon nanoparticles. Sugar cane bagasse is a uh, fibrous uh, residue after the sugar cane is crushed and extracted for the sugar and alcohol production. The source of the silica in the sugar cane bagasse comes from the main component of the soil solution, which is orthosilicic acid, a source of silica that deposited in the stem and leaves. The chemical composition of silicon dioxide in sugar cane bagasse ash is around 64%. Uh, some of the chemicals that are used in this process are including uh, sodium hydroxide, ethanol, nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, and distilled water. The first step is uh, silica extraction. The sugar cane uh, bagasse uh, is soaked in distilled water overnight. Then it washed thoroughly again with distilled water to remove dirt and soil and dry in oven at temperature of 90 degrees centigrade. Uh, one normal hydrochloric acid was added to the sample to remove metallic impurity. The mixture was soaked in the water. Uh, uh, the, mix, uh, the mixture um, uh, was soaked in the water bath uh, with temperature of 75 degrees centigrade. The sample was filtered, washed for several times to remove metallic ions in the sample and dried again in an oven with temperature of 90 degrees centigrade. The sugar cane bagasse was immersed uh, in one molar um, sodium hydroxide uh, uh, solution. Um, in order to obtain sodium uh, silicate solution, it was heated in a water bath for, for one hour with temperature of one, uh, 90 degrees centigrade. Next step is uh, precipitation process. Sodium silicate solution was stirred vigorously for one hour. Uh, during precipitation uh, process, nitric acid was added dropwise into the sodium uh, silicate solution until the pH value of the solution reaches to 8. And then uh, 20 milliliter of ethanol is added to it. The solution was continuous. Uh, stir for 45 minutes and uh, centrifuge at 4000 RP RPM for the precipitate form, uh, formation. And uh, then the process was uh, continued by washing the prepared sample with distilled water for several times. The precipitate was collected and heated in a furnace uh, with temperature of 600 degrees centigrade for uh, 30 minutes to obtain silica nanoparticles. Uh, if you want to read the whole article, please uh, read uh, this reference. Thank you for watching this video. 
if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so and if you have any question please comment below